Hello everyone. I have a collection of tonic supplies here on my craft space and I've got the Magnificent Magnolia stamp set that I've used before and this is the card that we're going to make. I love the holographic paper. This is the Craft Perfect Mirror card in hollow waves. Isn't that awesome? That is blinding. And a few other things. I have my wills, hands, word dies, and some fun stuff to play with. So I'm taking the Magnificent Magnolia stamp set and I'm taking the more solid images from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp them in Nouveau Clear Mark Embossing, Powder, or embossing Ink. So on watercolor cardstock, I'm going to do some watercoloring with the background and the foreground image today. So I'd like to do an embossed, emboss, if I could talk today, an emboss resist technique. So I'm uh, using white embossing powder. So I've stamped it with clear embossing ink and now I'm heating em heat embossing it with white embossing powder. And I'm warping the heck out of this piece of paper. It is really messed up. And to solve that, I'm going to just take something heavy that I have and I actually have this, um, it's, I think it's a cheese tray or some kind of trivet. I don't know. It's really heavy. So we're going to put it on my piece of paper and just let it sit there and flatten out while I stamp this other image. This is, I'm assuming, a magnolia. I'm not very familiar with flowers, but I'm learning. And I'm going to stamp it with the same uh, clear embossing ink and heat emboss it with the same white embossing powder to do some emboss resist watercoloring. Now, I love to emboss my images, especially when I'm watercoloring, because it creates a barrier basically to stay within the lines. Watercolor by nature likes to move and you're using liquid. That's natural. But I'd like to use all my resources <laughs> to try to stay in the lines. This is my splat box. This is my make a mess box, basically. Basically, I have the shimmer powder in Lunar Rocket. This is so cool. I just sprinkle the powder. This is pow powdered watercolor, okay? And then I try to shake it up a little bit so it's not so concentrated, but you can do however you like or whatever the results you like. This is a water, bo water bottle with just plain water and I'm spritzing it to activate the watercolor powder. Now, I like it when it's grainy. So I want to try to leave a lot of those specks in there, but I'm going to use this Nouveau uh, paintbrush to kind of move the color away from my image and let that emboss resist happen. We're going to leave this background with this fan. It's like a little fan spa. And we're going to do some watercoloring with watercolor pencils. This, I love this. I don't use watercolor brushes. I use this blender pen. <laughs> this to me is the right amount of liquid, but it's, I guess, I don't know, is it technically not watercoloring? It's okay. You can call me a watercolor cheater. Okay. So I have the wells to help me stay in line and I'm using a lot less water. <laughs> so this is my watercolor technique. I love the way that it turns out. It gives me the accuracy that I want, I guess the control that I need. And uh, I don't know. It's very fun and relaxing. You should try it. The blender pen is a good enough is a good option. I'm taking some non serrated scissors that happen to have a spring action handle to fussy cut around my image. I'm just trying to get as close to that embossed edge as possible without kind of cutting my image. I do not enjoy fussy cutting, but sometimes it's important to do. I like the way that this turned out. This flower is going to look nicely tucked in the corner here with the background. It coordinates really nicely. So now I need a sentiment and I'm definitely going to use the hollow waves paper. This stuff is so cool. It's so shiny and it has a rainbow of color in it. I love it. So we're going to take the Will's Hand uh, Enjoy die set. It comes with a shadow that we're cutting out of the with the hollow waves card. OK, so we're going to have a shadow that is sparkly and shiny. And then we're going to take the Enjoy actual the word die from the same set and cut that out of white cardstock. Specifically, we're using the smooth white cardstock by Tonic Studios. And I just load this whole sheet in and I think I cut about three 
three additional layers of the enjoy. I love these dies because the top of the eye stays in there. I don't have to mess with it. And that's, that's awesome to me. <laughs> I'm using my little pokey tool to hold down my word die and adding little dabs of deluxe liquid adhesive to stack them together. I just kind of, well, I fiddle with it. I fiddle with it until it lines up correctly. And then I leave it on my silicone mat with a, an acrylic block on top so that it adheres nice and tight. I'm using the largest Craft Perfect foam squares. I'm just putting one right behind this magnolia and putting it in its place on our background in the lower right hand corner. I love how the Lunar Rocket Shimmer Powder has so many different colors in the background and how it coordinates with the holographic cardstock. I used more of the Liquid Deluxe Adhesive to adhere the white word dye to its holographic shadow. And again, I'm just leaving it there to dry completely. So I wanted to add a little more something something, and this is the Nouveau Stone Drops in the gray color, bolder gray to be specific. And when it dries, it looks like, like almost like a geode. So it's really cool. So I added three of those drops to my project, and then I did use that same foam adhesive on the back, just cut into thin strips. I put double uh, foam tape on that E and the N, and then a single layer on the rest of the joy. That's it. That's my project for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know that I enjoyed creating it with you. Mm -hmm.